Within this demonstration, we're going to be looking at the new features available in Outlook 2016 for those on Office 365. So let's open the Outlook app. One thing to note, everybody on the Office 365 Outlook client does have a 50 gigabyte mailbox at their disposal, which is a real blessing in disguise for those IT managers who always get stuck with the full mailboxes. So. One thing that's great about Microsoft is they haven't changed much in the Outlook for Office 365. Those little features they've added though can save you quite a bit of time. So like the little one percenters. So as we see at the top, we've got this full ribbon. As you can normally see, you can send new emails, archive, you can reply and forward. This little feature here is quite handy. As you can see, there is a clutter button there. We'll come back to that a little bit later and I'll explain what that is for those who don't know. You can send to a manager. This is fully personalizable, so you can add in others if these aren't quite what you want. They're called little quick steps. One of the great ones is reply and delete. So if we look at this email, please be aware the car park gates will be closed from 5 p.m. today. Can you confirm you've seen this message? So this is an email we don't actually need to save. I just need to send a reply. So we press on the reply and delete button open the email thanks Anne Rob we send it and as you can see that first email has gone as it's automatically been deleted once I've replied the next thing we'll look at is something called quick clicks so I guess a lot of you like myself are often on the phone and we need to look at our calendar maybe to arrange a meeting to check our availability so once you hover over your calendar, you can see at the bottom all the little meetings coming up. So I, I've just been asked if I'm available on the 9th for a meeting. So I can click on the 9th and as you can see, I'm completely free on the 9th, but on the 10th, I do have a few meetings. Absolutely no problem. So I can tell them on the phone without having to go into the date. A new feature that does actually save quite a bit of time in Office 365 is something called action items. So as you can see on this email, I've got this little, this little drop down menu here. And what action item does is it scans the text within an email to see if any actions need to be taken. So in this one, we think we found an event. Can you meet me at Starbucks at 10 a.m. on Wednesday the 10th of August, please? And you can also see underneath, this event conflicts with another one in your schedule already. So it hasn't only checked my email to make to see what's available in it and what I need to do on it. It's also looked through my calendar to see if I'm available for it. We can enter location. So this one's at Starbucks. I've got one just down the road, so I know where I'm going. And I can schedule an event. It creates and it's in my calendar already. So within this email, it says, please can you send an email send the invitation back for the conference don't want to miss it and it has the address for the invite to go back to so this one has two action items so we'll check the first one is Bing Maps and what it's done is it's gone through the email seen as an address and is showing me where the address is this is really handy it could be you going to a meeting you need to check how far away it is or in my case it's being sent over to another country I need to I know that I need to get a different stamp and the action item on this email was can you send the invitation back for the conference? So that's just telling me I only have something I need to do. If you are someone who follows um, Outlook tasks, you can actually click here to follow up the email. And as you can see on the email, it's got this little flag. So I know that I've got a flag, I need to follow up something. And once it is completed, we can press mark complete. To get to the tasks, it's on this bottom bar here. And it, as you can see, invite return, start a date. I didn't need a reminder because I did it straight away. Due date, it was on the same day and it's in my inbox. So I can see it's crossed out. It means I know I've already done it, but I could fill this as much and as little as I want. I find this particularly handy if you've just gone on holiday and you come back to 600 emails. 
then you've got all your tasks there, you know exactly what you need to do and you don't actually miss out on anything. Going back to our inbox, down the side you can see all the normal folders, so you've got your inbox, draft, sent, deleted, but one of these new features is called clutter, so we click on clutter. What clutter is, it will keep track of the emails you read and which you actually ignore and you delete. It will move the emails into a clutter folder, so it's kind of like a more intelligent junk folder um, and you can actually aid clutter by sending those emails you don't read into the clutter folder and it will learn your behaviours quicker. So all of these emails, I haven't read, I send them to clutter, I don't need them, I'm not going to read them because I know what, what I have access to. It's there and it can save you quite a bit of time when you have to filter through so many emails a day. The next thing I'm going to show you is the Outlook calendar. So, calendars are all our life. It tells us where we've got to go and when we need to be there. So, if we take this calendar, for example, I'll just look at mine. I can see all my different times. I've got meetings, the rooms that it's in. I can open the meeting and see what happened and who it's been sent to. You can also see that no response has been received yet for the meeting, so we know what hasn't happened yet. One of the good things within the calendar though is you can actually share your calendar with others in and outside your organisation. The first one we'll do is share the calendar with someone else. So we're going to share my calendar with Anne. Here I can see that I can actually request to view their calendar at the same time as sharing mine. I can allow the recipient to view mine. And I can send it in three different ways. I can send it so they can only see my availability, send it so there's limited details, and send it so there's full details. So that's the calendar how you see it on mine now. This is quite handy if you're trying to arrange a meeting with someone and you are both really busy. So you can quickly look at each other's calendar and see where the best time is for you to meet up. And as you can see, an extra little pop-up comes up, share this calendar with Anne. We can also see other people's calendar. So in here we can open a calendar and we can do this from address book, from room list or from the internet. So at the moment we just want to see it from the address book. So I want to see Anne's calendar. So I can see Anne here. I press OK. And what it will do is open the calendar next to mine. So I can compare our time that we have free and see where I could fit in a meeting. But where am I going to have the meeting? I need to know what conference rooms are free within my building. So we'll go back to open calendars from room list. Let's try conference room hood. And as we can see, there's plenty of availability. Whenever we want a meeting, we're going to be fine. The final thing to show you within the calendar functionality is arranging a meeting in Skype. So Skype is a full session on its own and you'll see that in a few sessions time. But just for now, new Skype meeting, I send it to Anne. Subject, management update. I can pick a time for it. Oh, I'm not sure about having a meeting on a Sunday, so I'm gonna put that over to the Monday. And when I send it, I send her this link and it also has a join by phone number. So this is automatically generated. If someone doesn't have Skype for Business, they can still actually go on the conference with you. You can send it over, and as you can see, it's already been put in my calendar. The final thing to show you in Outlook is a massive function called Groups. Going down the side, you can see all the normal bits, including the clutter now, and we can follow it down to Groups. Groups is collaborated across the whole of Office 365. It's a massive tool you can use for teamwork, communication, keeping up to date with things. And when you form a group, you can have the availability to start conversations, for your group files and SharePoint. You can use the group calendar so you know when you're all free. And you can also connect your apps. So it might be you all like to keep up to date and you are in the finance sector, so you need to know about stock rates. You can follow on Twitter, everyone's getting updated with that information because you're all in the group. So you can follow a conversation as and when you go along. So hi team, the meeting has changed.
to the Robin Hood suite and I can send this across. So everyone will see that conversation and they can even like it. You can also add members to a group. I want to add Alex Darrow to it. I can add him, press OK. And my group will update with Alex in there. Now, if I'm adding someone to a group, it's likely that I want them to see what's been happening in the group beforehand. And adding someone into a group will include all of the information that's previously been written, previous files that have been shared, so they can get up to date. Really handy if you've got a new team member, you want them to feel involved and included. Similarly, you can also make a new group. So you go to new groups, you choose a name, and you make it public to anyone in your organization or private so only members you approve and you invite can see what's inside it. And this will be formed within your inbox. So this concludes the session on Outlook for Office 365 and all the little new features you get. My email is going to be at the bottom. If you do have any questions or you want some more information or to decide how it works best for you in your organization, feel free to contact me and I'll be able to help you and guide you along your way. Thank you very much for listening.